Picture a bird in its natural habitat. Any type of bird you want. What is it doing? Where does it live? You're probably picturing a bird perched in a tree or flying through the air. Actually, not all birds share this quality. Today, we will explore the clade Paleognathae, a word derived from ancient Greek meaning old jaws, referring to the reptilian structure of the jaw and beak. Most birds of the clade Paleognathae are known as ratites, which are defined by the lack of a keel, a structure on the breastbone of birds which connects the muscles necessary for flight. Penguins are unfortunately excluded from this clade since they have a keel which enables their powerful flippers to propel them through the water. Paleognathae are one of two living clades of birds, the other being Neognathae. The two clades split approximately 110 million years ago, the distinctions being their jaw structure and possession of a keel. The extinct species are labeled in red in the phylogeny tree on the right, the moas, and the elephant birds. Both species were giants which went extinct less than a thousand years ago. Paleognathae are mainly flightless species, with one group of flying birds, the tinamous. Flightless groups include kiwis, cassowaries, ostriches, and emus. Five species of kiwi, all of which are native to New Zealand. Kiwi have the largest egg-to-body size ratio of any animal. There are three species of cassowary, which are native to New Guinea and Australia. Two species of ostrich, both of which are native to Africa. They are the largest birds in the world and lay the largest eggs, and can run up to 43 miles per hour. There is one species of emu, which is native to Australia. It's the second largest bird species in the world. Two species of rhea, both of which are native to South America. And then 46 different species of tinamu, which are native to Central and South America, and are the only uh, members of Paleognathae that can fly. While one would assume that Paleognathae would be a monophyletic group, with flightlessness being a synapomorphy for the clade, recent phylogenetic studies have revealed that this may not be the case. Tinamu are in fact defined as ratites, with suggesting that there was separate losses of flight in the evolution of this group, which would make it a paraphyletic group. A study conducted by Yale University found that recent hypotheses for both living and extinct Paleognathae suggest at least three independent losses of flight throughout ratite evolutionary history. Their research included an embryonic development series to determine if developmental cells in the wing could contribute to a better understanding in the loss of flightlessness. The embryos of the ostrich and emu, as well as the flighted tinamu, were incubated and compared to the embryos of the neognathi chicken. This graph exhibits the wing length of the embryos compared to the number of days they were incubated. The ostrich's growth rate fell into the range of variation similar to the tinamu and chicken, which was faster than flightless but slower than flighted birds. The, ra the rates of wing growth with respect to the chicken are 9% faster for ostrich, 34% faster for tinamu, and 64% slower for the emu. The difference in rates of development between the emu and ostrich support the hypothesis that flightlessness was acquired independently. Flightlessness between emus and cassowaries may have occurred due to the reduced wing development that created a smaller overall body size. Ostriches and rhea's flightlessness may have been caused by them getting so large they could no longer carry themselves long enough to fly, but still retaining their large wings. Future fossil evidence will still be needed to show how ratite subclades lost flight and gained such body size in this newly found example of convergent evolution. Each species of Paleognathae plays an important role in their ecosystem with all of them serving a niche. Cassowaries play an important role in maintaining diversity of the wet tropical rainforests where they are native, and they have been documented to eat 238 plant species and are capable of eating many fruits and seeds that are toxic to other species. They are also one of the few species that disperse large rainforest fruits as they can swallow whole fruits and pass the seeds fully intact. This includes about 70 species of trees. Ostriches play a similar role in the African savanna, where they are a population control for certain species of insects such as locusts, and their foraging helps replenish new vegetation. While at first glance it may appear that all of the flightless paleognathy evolved from one common ancestor that lost flight, with Tinamu simply re-evolving flight later on, this is not the case. As was seen in the study earlier, it is actually believed that paleognathy had a common ancestor that could fly, and this was carried on in the Tinamu, whereas other members of the clade all developed flightlessness individually. Flightlessness is not a homologous trait or a synapomorphy in ratites. It is an example of a homoplasy. This fits flightlessness perfectly as it developed separately in multiple lineages after they departed from a common ancestor. This is also known as convergent evolution. 
Wings of flightless birds are considered vestigial structures, and it is likely that all the species mentioned used to fly, but lost its ability because there is simply no need to fly in order to find food or shelter or to escape predators. This is reflected in the Yale study, which found that flightlessness evolved more than once.